Hey everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. And today we're using the Kajali Jaw Test Unit. We're actually hooked to a Takahuchi skid steer with a Kubota engine. So I'm just going to navigate my way through the software. We'll choose construction equipment here. We'll scroll down to our manufacturer and choose Takahuchi. And then we just have to choose our model type here, our, steer, our series. So we're going to choose the TL6. And then it's going to give us one option to connect to the engine. So we'll choose our connector, which is 523A. We'll click connect. And then the software is actually going to prompt us, does this machine have a DPF or does it not? In this case, it does have a DPF. So we'll click that check mark. And once we're connected, we can look at fault codes. It's currently not stored in this machine. Um, our system data is our ECU data, so that's going to tell us what we're hooked to. In this case, it's a V2403. We can click accept there, and that'll bring us back. And then under our parameters, we can display the current injector code there. And for monitoring, this is just going to be your live data on the engine. So we can choose the magnifying glass, and we can look at it all this way, page by page here. Um, the actual numerical value. I'll let you look real quick. Or you can actually go back, and you can do this little... Uh, graphical representation here. I'm not going to go through all 12 pages again with it, but gives you a taste of what that looks like there. Okay, if we back up again, we can go to actuate components. This gives you a couple tests in here you can run, and then under system checks is where you're going to find your cylinder cutout test. Okay, so we'll just click the check mark here, and we have met the conditions. Check mark again, and you just choose which cylinder you want to cut out at this point. We'll just start with cylinder one. You can cut this off. Back on. You can see that RPM changed there. Each time I go off and back on. Or you can actually look at it in a graph here, which is a little easier to see since I know you guys probably can't hear this engine cutting on and off. Um, so you can actually see it there on the graph. And we'll do, let's do one more cylinder for you here. We'll do cylinder three. Let's go back to our graph. Go cylinder off, cylinder on. Okay. Anytime whenever you finish any of these, we'll click accept. Um, click this X mark. And you can actually look at this at your results. So it kind of gives you this nice little form here to look at. And you can scroll across for each one of these, these graphs to actually see where you cut that cylinder out. Same thing for your next cylinder down here on the bottom. Okay. So finish that. We'll just check mark again under your maintenance tab. This is where you can come in here and force your regen, clear your soot content. We'll go ahead. We'll start a regen on it just to so see what this looks like here and what the process is about. You get uh, little warnings here. Um, then tell you to let you know if you do have that switch in the cab, you may have to hit that switch after you've initiated it with the tool. Okay. So let's go back up. Check mark. And we'll get the process started. We have met all the preconditions, which is just being at idle here. So our RPMs will start to rise here in a second, and the region will begin. Overall, pretty good coverage with this tool on this engine. Um, this is definitely a viable option for you off-highway guys, so uh, thanks for watching.